we have a box. It's an exciting box because it's a box that I wasn't expecting to receive. Inside this box is something that I do not own. A lovely viewer called Sean, hello Sean, actually lent this to Manchester Vax and for them to have a play with, but asked if they would perhaps waft it my way so we can do a video. So in this box is something which I would never be able to afford to buy all of the stuff to do it. It's not something that I've ever really wanted. I've been interested in them, sure, but again, due to that unreachability, put it out of my mind. And here we are. There's also some other bits in here as well. So let's get this box open and have a look at a twin battery 18 volt Makita commercial vacuum. Hello, my vacuum cleaner and Makita chums. How are you today? Yeah, obviously Manchester Vax also being the SIBO shop, I think Sean lent it to them to have a look at because it, it is quite similar to a SIBO. And I went, oh, well, I'd love to try it, but I don't have any batteries. But look, he lent some batteries with it. This is what I mean about it being quite an expensive machine. Unless you're already in the ecosystem, which I'm not, my little Makita drill is the 12 volt CXT. This is the 18 volt LXT, I think they call this. Oh, they're actually not genuine batteries, which is fair enough because genuine batteries cost an absolute fortune. That's why the cost of a machine like this would skyrocket otherwise. Oh, this is my other stuff. We'll have a look at that in a minute because that's not for this machine. Uh, get the packaging out. Oh. Ooh, here it is, look. It's one of these. We'll get the ratings plate sorted in a minute. Let's get the rest of the stuff out. We have our fairly familiar looking handle. This thing is freezing, by the way. It, it's been sat outside my front door since flipping half eleven in the morning. I got home, it's now ten to six. So. Good job, I live in a good decent area, isn't it? Right. So yeah, the whole thing's freezing cold and probably wants to be unboxed for its own sanity. Right, so there's the box out the way, keep that, obviously this has to go back to Manchester. And immediately I can tell that it is a D DVC 560, 36 volt Makita vacuum cleaner. It's, it's quite... I'm going to say it's quite sea bowy because it is, but it also isn't. I mean, I, I can see why, yeah, Manchester Vax might have wanted to have a play with it. So the one good thing there, this hose isn't very stretchy at all. I, mean, I won't force it until it's warmed up a bit. This bit seems to go in there and tie on. And then this is the main handle with its electrical connections, which clicks in there, like so, marvellous, yeah, it's it's quite light really, although I, I, does it, ooh, actually, does it have any batteries in it? Ah, it does, I was say, there's normally four with these things, so if we take the batteries off, it's still quite hefty, I've still got some decentness to it, it is quite sturdy and strong, let's clip those back in, also this means that the weight on the floor here may help push whatever the brush roll is. Have a look down at yet, but it might help clamp it into the carpet. If you don't actually need those yet, we can hopefully have enough charge on here. We have a ooh, very long crevice nozzle that sits in there. Ooh, we have a very dinky, but actually quite nice dusting brush. That's, that's almost Goblin Rio slash Hitachi-esque, but then oblong. And that's it, that's all the tools that one gets with this machine. If we open up the front, oh good, there is a bag in there. Bag door comes away. Oh, there is a date wheel. 20, November 2020. I'm fairly sure that's going to say. Yeah, pretty cool. Take the little, ah, take the bag out. Oh, they're nice big bags. Very hepa flowy and in here is spotless because of it. Oh, there's also, Look, a full cartridge. I'm going to guess this is a pre-motor filter. 
given how it's dirt comes in. Yeah, this will be the pre-motor filter. That looks very <laughs> expensive to replace. I'll, I'll, I'll grab that nice and clean. There we go. Yeah, that's that's it. That is all that we have on this side of the machine. This side, well, on the top, we have ourselves a sort of control panel slash status panel, battery of each of the battery charge, the brush roll and the bag indicator with the switches all being on this handle. Let's have a gander underneath at what the brush roll might be like. I hope it's stiff. Let's turn it over and, hmm, okay. That's not bad. Okay, there must be some sort of cog mechanism on there. It is. That's all right, actually. It's not terrible. Does it come out? Ah, again, it's a commercial cleaner, so this is where I know naff all about this. I should be able to muddle through, although obviously not breaking somebody else's shiny, shiny. There we go. Yeah, nice, oh, nice big cog there on that side. That's, that's not bad, actually. It's certainly not going to beat the pile or anything. But again, this will be designed for, you know, carpet tiles, commercial carpeting. We may give this a bit of a clean up for the owner. There we go. Yeah, carpet tiles, commercial carpeting. That's probably all it needs to be. I mean, you know, we're not going to expect this to be a Hoover Senior 652A or anything now, are we? Right, so, have our little brush roll that sits in there. There we go. Nice edge brush. And it's all, it's all fairly, fairly decent. It doesn't feel too creaky. It feels quite nice. I'm trying to sort of work out what this is but I don't know and yes you can lift the machine up and down like so so all seems pretty standard and vacuum cleanery so far let's turn it on and see what it sounds like I've got the it, it started to expand a little bit but I don't think this is a stretchy stretchy hose it is literally designed to be that long so oh look it's push machine Fair enough, you best be careful if whoever put is. Right, let's push the button and see what default setting it goes into. Oh. Ah, that button. Okay, it's, it's, it's a thing on normal. Okay, Max isn't too bad. But its default setting it is quite iffy. I mean, it seems to be a brushed motor listening to that. Although, you see the little LED lights. That was pretty cool. Machines like this, raw suction isn't really their main game. Their real prowess is, again, cleaning carpet. So if you turn it on, ah, does have brush roll on off. I think, I don't know really, I've got a bad mouth, somebody else's very nice machine, but, oh there we go, actually, no, now i found the pile, that's not too bad, and this is probably the mode that it'll just last for hours in, hours and hours, going around your office block or your cafeteria. Whoa. Number two, not bad. But the brush roll speeds up and down with the motor. But I mean, I don't know how old this is. I, I can't imagine this is the currentest model, especially going by the fact that it's made in 2020. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's try it on my, well, on this, the more rubber backed commercial style carpet. This seems a tad more realistic. I see our cleaners in our office dragging the whole Henry around, plugging it in for less of a mess than this. So, let's. Turning on setting one. Um. Oh, 
Connor the second two. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it seems that little light has hit better than its forte either. Maybe just, you know, clean carpets again, you know, be feeling an office block after a day of people being at work. And you can get your wand out, oh, get the treasures torn out. And here's some little dirt in a crevice. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. Ready? Um, <laughs> Just, yeah. Oh, whoa. I think it's got it. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, no, the car's the future. I mean, it, it, it works. I can't deny that it, it is doing what it should do. I think part of the problem is this bag's a bit full because if I take that off, there's actually quite a bit of airflow coming from the motor. I don't know if I can. Yeah, that's not bad. However, as soon as the bag goes in, unless I specifically. Yeah, if I hold it away. There is slightly more airflow coming through. There is slightly more airflow coming through. The, the main issue is, bless this machine. I found the machine of the culture, despite it saying 36 volts, and it, it, it's saying 36 volts up there. Part of me thinks what it actually does is, in comments if I'm wrong, it'll use one of the batteries first, then just switch over to the other one. So it's actually only 18 volts. Although it doesn't run without both batteries. So I could be talking complete nonsense. But that's how I've known them working the past. And that would probably make sense. No, off. Oh. And that would probably make sense here because it doesn't feel like a 36 volt, even brush motor. Bless it. I think poor Makita. They made a very nice product. I, I, I still sort of want one. I've always looked out for a really cheap one with no battery so we can you know, make it wired with a 36 volt DC jack. But they've never cropped up. Um, I don't know, now I don't have to really worry too much about holding out for one because I've used one and it's okay. It, you know, if you didn't have much dirt, again, if you were just wandering a shopping centre or a massive office block, picking bits up. Ideal. I, I, I don't quite see me using it for my house. No, I'm, I'm using it a bit because, you know, it's not every day one gets to experience different machines, but, oh, bless put, the fact that the brush roll is 100% linked to the motor speed is possibly what annoys me the most about it. Because if it was just a fast brush roll with little airflow, it would work because it would sweep the dirt up. But, I mean, oh my God. We've got to be climbing. 
Thank you very much, Sean, for sending it over because it's still very nice to try new machines, to show new machines off. I mean, hey, somebody might think I'm talking out of my behind and this is really good. Or, as I think, they've probably done a brushless model now, which is going to just be better in every way, Sam, because that's how technology works. You spend a thousand pounds and then six months later, it's obsolete. And you have to spend another £2,000 on whatever the new and shiny thing is. But, you know, as long as Sean's happy with it, I'm happy that he's happy. And I thank him very much for letting us look and try this out. I thank Manchester Vax very much for posting it out. And, ooh, let's have a sneak peek at this bag. Because this video will go out before the other. What could it be? Well, we have... And, and, I've got loads of these packs of bags. I'm going to send you a pack. Fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> They're paid for that. What else is in here? Well, a brand new shiny, shiny, shiny Sevo Felix Classic filter, which I cannot wait to fit. The machine desperately needed it. And thank you very much, Manchester Vax. What else? Ooh, okay. We have this I was expecting. Oh, another Sebo shot pen. Fantastic. These pens are really good. If you ever buy something from Manchester Vax, get them to buy a pen in because they're ever so nice to write. And I get these pinched at work because I lend them out and people don't want to give them back. Here it is. Look, a brand new, doesn't look very used, cable exit grommet, but in the all-important red. And then I was only expecting one of these. I might try them out for them and see but we have two red necks now they're probably worse <laughs> overall than my red neck however as long as this bit here is okay the rest can be rebuilt and oh sorry Nikita I know this is your show but right here look we have the Felix in its back together enough state waiting for these parts that immediately feels better it was I mean, it's, it's not knocking itself down, so I've got to be a little bit careful. But it, it already seems to not... That one's worse. That's sort of what the old one was doing. This one. This is the neck that we, or I, need to keep, I think. Cool. Fair enough. Very nice. This one. Ooh. That seems to be... Yeah, they, they just go baggy and wobbly and... That problem is that's what pulls the contacts out the back and that's what shorts it out. So I'm hoping that, well, between these, certainly, probably, I don't know, I think this one. I think this neck, maybe with my other stuff on it, and I, I need this top bit, I need to have my clip and stuff. I think that'll fix it. So, yeah, that was another reason why this box came my way, because there was some stuff anyway, and uh, as I said, does it cost them any more as a corporate entity to send a big box versus a little box? So, we love Sibo, we love Makita, we love Sean. Thank you to everybody who made this video possible. You can go away, it's not your video yet. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Do comment below with your experiences of Makita cordless vacuums. I'm going to keep using this for a few days because I, just, I can't form an opinion within 20 minutes. Well, I have, but it might be changed. Bless it, you know, one must take these opportunities to try new things. So yeah, until the next time, I, definitely this stuff, when we smash it onto that, will see you soon. Bye-bye.